Hi everybody. Um, how's everybody doing? Hope uh, you guys are doing good and uh, celebrating Passover, remembering what Lord Jesus did on the cross, and uh, be being thankful for your salvation. We are saved. We are uh, redeemed by Lord Jesus, and because of that, we are called. Uh, children of God. So uh, today uh, there's a special uh, thing I want to say about uh, uh, what uh, the Roman ruler Pilate put on the cross of Lord Jesus. He put a sign and I want to discuss uh, this sign with you guys because it's very important sign. Mm we can be able to find the verse from uh, uh, John chapter 19 starting from verse 19 and 20 it says Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth the King of the Jews and the Pharisees were very mad and they came and they said remove the sign and Pilate says no I'm not going to remove the sign because the reason um, you killed him is because he was the Messiah or he was the king of the Jews and the other reason they killed him is because he said that he was God's son which makes him God and uh, he said I'm not going to remove the sign I'm going to keep it he actually uh, made uh, he wrote in three languages, in Hebrew, in Greek, and in Lat Latin. Before we discuss about the sign, uh, let's go back and see in the Old Testament the name of God. What's the name of God? The name of God in the Old Testament is uh, Jehovah. This is the name that God gave to uh, um Moses, when Moses was asking him about, uh, when was, Moses was asking him his name, God gave him these four letters name, Jehovah, Yud, He, Vav, He. And we can be able to find this name in a different part of the Bible. But uh, why is this name important uh, when it comes to the New Testament? Uh, Lord Jesus, oh, he not only uh, did signs and wonders, but he said some things that was very difficult for some people to uh, comprehend and understand. Some of the things he said was uh, that he was the great I am. We can be able to find this in uh, John chapter 8 verse 39 to 58. Yeah, the Pharisees were asking him a question and uh, he said before Abraham I am that word that he used I am is uh, the holy name of God in the Old Testament I am is Jehovah uh, so when he said that the people were they were very mad and they wanted to stone him but it was not time for him to die so um, he escaped from there. He walked through them and he disappeared. He was trying to communicate to the disciples that he was God and a lot of people when they came to him and uh, received uh, miracles, he uh, after the miracles, they worshipped him and he received the worship. He did not condemn anybody who was worshipping him. So it shows that he's telling people that he is God, according to John chapter 1, verse, starting from verse 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was God. In the beginning was with the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. So this word of God, who 
who happens to be in the Old Testament, the other name of Lord Jesus, was the Word of God. He became flesh and came to this world. So he was God in flesh. Why is this very important? Because the, there is a mystery on the cross regarding the sign that Pilate put on the cross. We are going to discuss about this at the end of this lesson. So I'm telling you this to clarify that Lord Jesus proclaimed himself to be God. And uh, in Matthew 2.11, the wise man came and worshipped him. In Matthew 14.33, John 9.38, Matthew 28.17, Luke 24.52, people receiving uh, different kind of miracles. They came and worshipped Lord Jesus and he did not stop them. In John chapter 20 verse 28, after Lord Jesus rose from the dead, uh, uh, Thomas, he touched him um, and he said, My Lord and my God. He called him my God. Um, Titus 2 verse 13, it says, Our great God and Savior. So, Lord Jesus is not just a Savior, but He is our great God and Savior. 2 Peter 1 verse 1, Our great God and Savior. 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy 3 16, The mystery of godliness, God was manifested in the flesh. In Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, one of the names of the Messiah is going to be Mighty God. So uh, we can be able to see that Lord Jesus is not an ordinary human being. He was God in, in the flesh just like how 1 uh, Timothy 3.16 says. Uh, the other part is Last time we discussed, uh, if we, if you guys uh, watched the first video about uh, um, Hosanna or uh, Palm Sunday, it says there that in Psalm uh, uh, 118 verse 14, it says that God has become my salvation. God is going to become my salvation. So. If Lord Jesus is salvation, Psalm, uh, Psalm 118 says that He is God, because God is my salvation. We can be able to find this in Isaiah 12, 2, Exodus 15, 2, so many places, that God is going to be our salvation. In Mark chapter 2, verse 5, Jesus said to the man, Your sins are forgiven. Now hold on, if uh, Lord Jesus was just a mere man, how can he be able to forgive sins? Because only God can forgive sins. But Lord Jesus actually forgives sins and he did miracles by telling the person that his sins were forgiven. And in other parts, he said that uh, he, he is the Lord of Sabbath. So who actually gave the commandments about Shabbat? It was God himself. On the seventh day, God rested. When he says on the seventh day, God rested, it's not because he was tired, but it was because he was trying to tell us the future uh, things that he was about to do, which is after he redeemed mankind for 1,000 years, there's going to be peace on earth. So he was um, trying to communicate with us what, what his plan is. Just like how, he, how I told you about the seven feasts of the Lord. All the festivals of the Lord that he gave us is his festivals that he, is, uh, uh, he was planning to fulfill. And he started fulfilling them starting from Passover. And uh, this shows that if he is the Lord of Shabbat, that means he is God, because only God is the Lord of Shabbat. Only God is the Lord of rest. He is the one who gives us rest, right? I 
and uh, there was this incident in Matthew chapter 22 verse 41 to 45 the Pharisees came and they were um, talking to Lord Jesus and he asked them a question he said uh, what do you guys think about the Messiah uh, and they said oh the Messiah is the son of David because they, they were trying to be smart they were trying to impress Lord Jesus uh, with their uh, script, uh, scripture knowledge and Lord Jesus said, okay, so if he is the son of David, why did, De uh, why did David call him my Lord? He said that according to Psalm uh, 110 and verse 1, it says, The Lord said to my Lord, sit, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. So, if he is just uh, the lineage of David, and if he is the son of David, how on earth David can be able to call his grand-grand-grand-grand-grand-grand-child, uh, my Lord? Unless that, spe uh, that special Messiah who is going to come out of the lineage of David is bigger than a uh, human being. He is David's Lord or the word that is used in the Hebrew uh, scriptures is Jehovah. Uh, every time you read uh, in the scriptures in the Old Testament and see Lord they always try to uh, write Lord because you don't you don't uh, pronounce the name of God in Hebrew because it's very sacred and it's uh, very holy because it's holy, they don't want to pronounce it, so they just uh, translate the word Jehovah into Lord. So every time you see the word Jehovah, oh, sorry, every time you see the, the word Lord, that means in Hebrew it, 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 it's, it is written Yud Hey Vav Hey or Jehovah, or in English you call it Jehovah, which is not the correct uh, pronunciation because there is no J in uh, Hebrew. It's Jehovah. Why am I telling you all this? There's this mystery about Lord Jesus. When um, Lord Jesus uh, was standing before the high priests and the Sanhedrin. And uh, when they were uh, judging him. They, say they couldn't be able to find any sin to, uh, to make him guilty. He was innocent. And all the people knew that he was innocent, so they said, "Okay, we are not gonna we are not gonna do anything to you because of all the things you did, all the good things you did. But you said things that are very uh, uh, blasphemous. So are you are you uh, can you be able to confirm what you just said?" And they asked him, "Are you the Son of God?" And uh, he said, "I am." Remember this, he used the same word when uh, 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 when the Pharisees sent uh, soldiers to go and capture Lord Jesus before uh, to, to capture him and to bring him. And then what happened? They went, the soldiers went there and uh, they said, Who is uh, Jesus? We came to arrest him. And he said, I am. When he said, I am, they fell. The Bible says they fell down. Now, wh why do you think they fell down? It's because he uttered that holy name of God. And because that holy name of God was very strong when he um, mentioned it, when he mentioned it, they fell down because it was powerful, because it was holy. Now, here they ask him a question. Where, where we are going to kill, we are planning to kill you. But uh, I ju we just want you to say it one more time. Are you the son of God? Which is, if he says yes, that means he is saying that he is equal with God. Because so many places in the New Testament, he said that my father and I are one. That means he is making himself equal with Jehovah. He's saying that I am Jehovah. So literally, 
He is telling them that I am the God that took you out of the land of Egypt. I am the God of Moses. And they asked him a question one more time. They said, are you the son of God? And he said, I am. And they said that. Ah, they were very mad. And the high priest tore his mm, effort. And they said, blasphemy, blasphemy. Of course, in their hearts, they thought they were doing an uh, amazing job. Uh, and uh, God was pleased with them. But actually, they were mocking God. And they were uh, ridiculing God. And Lord Jesus was condemned because he called himself the Son of God. Or he made himself equal with God. So, what's the mystery? Now, let's go to the mystery about the sign that Pilate put on the cross. The sign that says, uh, Jesus of Nazareth and King of the Jews. Why is this sign uh, very special? Because uh, for, for us to understand this sign, we need to um, first... Uh, try to memorize the name of God in the Old Testament that those four Hebrew letters Yud, He, Vav, He Yud, He, Vav, He is the name of God Yud, He, Vav, He okay try to uh, remember this name so now let's come back to the sign the sign says Jesus of Nazareth King of the Jew now in Hebrew when you write this it says Yeshua Hanitri Vamelech Hayudim. They wrote it in three different languages Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. And now, this is the mystery when you actually write this in Hebrew. The first name, Yeshua, is Jesus. Hanitri means from Nazareth. Vamelech is king. Hayudim is of the Jews. So now I want you to do me a favor, take a paper and I want you to write the first letters of those four words and put them together and you'll be shocked to find out uh, what it is. So let's, let's start by going to the first name. It says Yeshua. So when you uh, write Yeshua, what's the first letter? Yud or yeah, right? So write yeah or Yud. That's the first letter you're going to write. Ha netri. Ha netri starts with ha. So you're going to write first you wrote Yud, now you're going to write ha. And the Melech is the third word. The Melech starts with V. V right well and the last the fourth uh, word or the last word is ha yehudim ha yehudim starts with ha so put all those four words together you can be able to see that the word is yud he vav he that was the name of god in the old testament and now when he died on the cross when Lord Jesus, when he gave himself on the cross, he was still bearing that name on the cross. He was saying that, I am your salvation. At the same time, don't forget, I am Jehovah. I am your God. So Lord Jesus is our God. He is our salvation. And it's a, it's a, it's a privilege and honor to worship him and to know him. I'm sure that you are blessed with this lesson. And I'll see you uh, next time. Have a wonderful uh, Passover. Remember, Passover is all about Lord Jesus. Worship Him. Um, read your Bibles. Watch um, the Passion of Christ if you can be able to uh, find it on Netflix or some other um, uh, movie um, websites. If your parents can be able to allow to, uh, because it's a little bit uh, 
not easy to watch for kids so first ask your parents if they uh, give you the green light you can be able to watch the passion of Christ what kind of price he paid for us so that we can be able to be called children of God so have a blessed Passover and I'll see you next time bye